you looking at? Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And today we finish up our Iron Man effects trilogy with this request. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a video of a camel running down the street in my hometown. Here's the real request. Both Damien Asia Moore and Epic Bryce asked, Can you do an Iron Man Repulsor Blast? Well, since that's what the episode's about, I'm gonna say, maybe. In order to complete this effect, you need something on your hands to act as the repulsor itself. I've actually got some toy ones left over from my Iron Puppet sketch, but anything you can find will do. You'll then need to shoot your actor pretending to shoot things. The option to look like a complete idiot is totally up to you. It just comes naturally to me. You'll also need to grab the download pack in the description that contains some sounds, the After Effects project file for creating the blast in trap code particular, and for those who don't have particular, I've rendered out a blast just for you so you're not left out. It also contains a clip of some embers firing as well. To After Effects! Alrighty, let's do this gang. I've got my clip and a comp all ready to go. As I mentioned before, I have these toy repulsors left over from my Iron Puppet sketch. Whether you have these or not doesn't really matter, but you need some sort of prop on your hand, as our first tip is adding some glow lighting to our prop to give it the illusion that it's warming up. So let's head up, grab a new adjustment layer, and then head right back up and grab our old friend CC Light Rays. We'll then scrub along the timeline until our repulsor prop first shows up. We'll then grab our center point and move it over to the part we want to illuminate. I'm going to hit this blue part right here. We can then trim the front part of our adjustment layer to start at this point. From there, we'll then hit the stopwatch on our center point, and let's head frame by frame, adjusting that center point until our repulsor goes back off screen again. We'll then hit Control shift d to split that clip, and since I fire twice in this shot, I'll simply repeat this process again, reusing that split adjustment layer. To do that, I'll just hit the center point stopwatch to remove the previous animation, hit it again, and once again, I'll go frame by frame until it's all done, and then trim that excess off at the end. Pretty easy so far, eh? Our next step is to animate the intensity of our light rays. So let's select our adjustment layer, head forward a few frames before we want that blast to take place, head up, hit the stopwatch on intensity, we'll then skip ahead a couple of frames where we want our blast to take place, and then crank it up anywhere from 300 to 400 based on your shot. We'll then skip ahead 5 frames and crank it back down to 100. As you can see in the preview, we now have a bit of a blast happening. Rinse and repeat this process for the other shot, and it's on to the next step, gang. For the next step, I'll assume you've got the download pack all ready to go. This contains our blast files, our embers, a little lens flare, some muscle flash smoke, oh, and some sweet sounds too. So for these shots, we're going to use the clip marked blast. I also have a file called front blast that's used in the two other shots, but these steps remain the same. Now, let's grab our blast clip and drop it into its own comp. So the first thing you'll notice is it's a bit slow, so let's fix that. Let's right click, head to time and select time stretch. We'll then speed it up with a value of 40. As you can see now, it's a lot better. If you want, you can increase this number to slow it down if you want the blast to be on screen longer. I'm gonna trim that first frame off as well so our blast starts out a little bit quicker. Yep, much better. I'll then trim the comp to the work area. From there, let's add a glow to bump it up a bit. Head over to presets and type saber. We'll drop Video Copilot's Lightsaber Glow preset right on top. If you don't have that, download it down in the description. Now since my repulses are blue instead of the normal orange or yellow, I'm going to change my glow to blue to better suit them. The last step here is to head down to the Effects Glow menu and turn the glow threshold up to 30%, just to remove some of that blowout from our blast. With that done, let's head back to our original comp, turn off that adjustment layer, and drop our blast comp in just under it. We'll then make the layer 3D, and then drag it into place on the timeline. If you need to, you may have to flip it horizontal as well. To do that, head up to Layer, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. We'll then use the position and the rotation controls to move it into just the right place. This might take a bit of work, but it will be worth it. Once you've got that first frame looking all nice, let's hit P, hit the stopwatch on position, and then go frame by frame, just matching the position of your hand to make sure our blast stays in place. Once you're done, change the transfer mode to add and turn your adjustment layer back on. And let's check out a preview. Not bad, but let's add some of those cherries on top we love so much. Now for time purposes, I'll add these just to our first blast. But as always, the steps remain the same. 
Our first cherry is some embers. First off, let's double click on our embers clip and we're gonna grab just a few frames in the middle by marking the in and out like so. That way, when we grab our embers and drop them in under our adjustment layer, it'll only bring in the ones we marked out. And we won't have to bother with searching through the clip and trimming it. We'll then turn that adjustment layer back off again so we can see what we're doing, and then we'll change the transfer mode to screen. Let's drag that clip right to where our blast goes off. We'll then position it into place right on that repulsor. We'll then scale those embers way up. Around 180 works for my shot. Now you may notice that the embers are orange, and that doesn't suit my shot. So I'm gonna fix that right now. I'll head up to effect, color correction, and add a tint to remove the bulk of the color. I'll also blur them out a little by heading to effect, blur and sharpen, and adding a camera lens blur. I'll then adjust that blur to 2.5 because I want blur, but I don't want that much. Our second cherry, a little smoke. Let's head to the point of the blast on our timeline, hold shift, and grab our smoke puff and drop it in. We'll then change that transfer mode to add. We use those position and scale controls to get it into place, and that's it. Our final cherry is a little lens flare. I know, I don't use them very often, but you know. Now, whether you animate a lens flare with optical flares or just use a still like me, it's totally up to you. I'm just using a still today. So let's grab our Photoshop file marked flare, hold shift, and once again, we'll drop it straight in our blast point. We'll change the transfer mode to add, and from there, we'll position and scale it into place. Next, we'll move forward three frames, hit Control shift d and delete that excess. Now, let's turn on that adjustment layer and check out a preview. And we are done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. You look at that. So that's my take on Iron Man's Repulsor Blast. Once again, it's not really that difficult to make it look cool. And let's face it, if you can make me look cool, then the possibilities are endless. <laughs> <laughs> now just before I leave you, just a quick reminder, our green screen giveaway competition is still running. There's been some confusion as to what you have to send in, so I've taken the liberty of filming an example video of what you have to film and send in. This is Barry McSpikey here, and until next time, keep learning. So just send that in, and you're good to go. But once again, that's my time, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're seeing my handsome mug for the first time, why not hit that subscribe button and get a whole lot more of this action. We also post previews of upcoming episodes on both Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, keep learning.